and playing with these guys? Oh, man, first off, it's, it's a blessing being back out there, playing a sport that I love to play. It's, it's, it's a great it's a great chance to make a lot of plays in this offense with the, how they use the running backs. Everything's going well, man, the run game, how offensive line is doing well. This is a good, great, great feeling to be back out there, man, and just enjoy myself. New league, new coach, new system. I mean, how motivated were you to get healthy so that you could learn on the fly in the spring? Man, I'm, I'm still motivated to this day, man. I'm trying to get as healthy as possible, I'm trying to get my weight back, my win back. Uh, I came out there, I was kind of – well, I'll say kind of not in great shape like I wanted to be, but it's coming along. Is the more my leg healed, the more I could put pressure on it, the more I could lift on it. Give me the, I mean, brings back more on the field. I could play on it more and be able to to get into a lot more drills, like 707, team drills like that. So, man, it's, it's great being out there, man. It's just an honor to play in this offense. You talked about some of the things they can do with the running backs in this offense. What are some of those, and you know, what are the, some of the things you've noticed that you think, oh man, I kind of like this part of the new offense? Uh, the new offense, new offense is great, man. Uh, not, not taking away from last year's offense, that was a great offense too. But this this year, man, it's like they utilize us a lot more. They have us in the screen game a lot more, and so a lot of wheel routes, a lot of sp- uh, swing routes, just getting the balls in our hands as quick as possible and as soon as possible. Um, as far as even on the run game, man, it, it have us on, in a hole with one or two linebackers, man. That's a great chance for us to make big plays in open field, man. So it's great. Everything's great. Coach said last week he was going to have a talk with you to say you kind of had to take it easy at certain times because you were, you were so hungry to be out there. So what is it like? And, you know, how much did you want to get out there and continue to – Improve, well, I guess. like I told, my, like I told my position coach, man, I said you if either you don't let me get out there at all, or let me out there, and let me go 100 percent, because that's all I know, you know, man. So uh, I had we had a talk, we had a long talk, man. He just said, just protect yourself, be smart at all times, but also do what you have to do, do what you do, and that's, that's go out there and play hard and compete, and that's what I've been doing. But I also have been playing smart. Have you kind of taken it upon yourself to also carry these guys as a leader because you guys did lose a lot of players? Oh yeah, no doubt, man. Uh, and, and my biggest thing is is. I can only say I only I feel that I can only say so much right now because I'm not really out there when they banging each other up and, and tackling and and motivating. I only can motivate them for, for for so long, man, and, and say so much because I'm not really out there like I want to be. But uh, man, the, the team is I, I love this team, man. They listen to to the older guys on our team, and I, I consider myself a leader along with a lot of other guys like uh, Pat Patrick Lewis, our center. Uh, uh, easy watch a cue and those type of guys like that, uh, Ryan Swope. And, man, it, we just all join together and pick this team up as much as possible. With all those seniors that are the leaders, you know, that you just talked about, do you guys talk a lot to the younger quarterbacks and try to bring them along? Have you all kind of take it on yourself to keep those guys encouraged? Oh, man, no doubt, man. Uh, those guys, and, and like I said, man, those those guys listen very well, and they, they take constructive, constructive criticism very well, man, and they just come back the next day and play play better and, and correct what, what they had to had the next day, the day before, and uh, corrected and bring back uh, better, better balls and uh, better reads in his offense. So the younger guys, man, they listen well and they come back and play even harder and do even better. How are you acclimating to the tempo? How much do you like the tempo? That's another thing I said about not being in shape, man. I don't know if I'm just not in shape or if this tempo is just that fast, man. It's kind of reminds me of a, like an Oregon defense or an Arkansas D, I mean offense. Those guys, man, after you get. After you catch the ball, man, the next play is already called, so you got to get back to the to the line as quick as possible. It's just, it's it's beneficial, but also it's tiring. So, man, we'll see how it goes. How how close were you to leaving after your junior year for the NFL, and what what was it that ultimately brought you back to Texas A&M? Oh uh, man, I say, man, it's just just being with this time, being with this team. Uh, I I love running behind the offensive line that we do have. I love playing with those guys I mentioned, like Easy and and Ryan Swope and uh, Jamil Showers. As a young guy, but man, he got he has a great arm, man. He's very he motivates us in in a lot of ways too, coming from a, a younger player. And man, just just being under the system, you know what I'm saying? Just playing for the school. I love to play, man. Uh, I've always wanted to come here since I could say since I was a junior in high school. And man, I just wanted to finish strong, man. And uh, and things that come like after this, after this level, man, I just say, hey, it's gonna always be there. So I just enjoy, enjoy myself while I'm in college now. Were you and actually, also getting my degree that I will be getting in the next fall. So man, it's, everything's moving pretty good. Uh, were, were you close? What's that? To, were you close to making that decision, or was it ever in doubt? Uh, no, nah, I'll say, man, it was, it was a lot of thoughts in my head, man. Mm-hmm. But like I said, I was close to getting my degree, so that's that's what mm-hmm. that's what ultimately brought me back as, uh, this year. So whatever. How excited are you for the SEC? SEC is great, man. It's just, it's giving me a great chance to play with a lot of good guys. I have a lot of guys that I know that I play high school ball with us in the SEC. I have guys from Alabama, plenty of guys from uh, LSU, uh, South Carolina. It's, it's just it's just going to be enjoyable to play with those guys and see those guys again. Anything else? Perfect. Thanks.